Today I'm sharing a very easy way to make a birthday card even more special. Welcome back to another Take Two with Therese and I've got two beautiful cards to share with you today and I'm going to be using the Bold Numerals dies. Now this is a great way to personalize a card for that special someone and take your card making that little step further. I'm going to start with a card for a girl and I'm using the Gracious Peonies stamp and coordinating stencil and this is a great stencil set because it's a simple coloring and a layering stencil. So I'm going to be using the simple coloring stencil today because I like to be able to have the option of adding my own shading to an image. I thought I'd keep the colors very kind of muted and make a really pretty design. I have a piece of cardstock here. It's some Nina 80 pound cardstock because I like to work on a panel that's the same size as the card front and then adhere it afterwards. That way if I do make any mistakes I'm not wasting a whole card base as well. So I'm using my large blending tools here and adding some base color. The simple coloring stencil has the whole of the petal exposed for the ink and so once I've done my base color it's really easy to come in and add some shading and I'm using the detailed blending brushes to do this. This is the largest one. These are excellent. I love using these for adding some extra shading and depth. So even though I used two pale colors to color my flowers today, they actually mixed really well together. Now the layering stencils are numbered and I just worked my way through them. This is a really quick way to add color but if you'd prefer to color your flowers uh, with our markers or some watercolors or pencils or even just use it as an outline image this beautiful big bouquet works a treat as just a stamped image leave it as an outline and then add your sentiment these greens would have to be my go-to favorite for the moment <laughs> and i am enjoying the round pads as well so I do like to leave my image in place while I do my coloring. That way I can come back in and add another layer of ink over top. I use the obsidian black here and that just crisps up the outline of the stamped image. And that's where the Misty tool really comes into its own. It's probably my favorite use for the Misty is restamp, being able to restamp an image exactly as it was. Okay, it's time to add the number and the sentiment now. I have die cut the numbers 21 out of some birch cardstock here. This is actually real wood. It's a very thin wood veneer and I want to pop it up on the front of the card so I'm adhering it to a die cut fun foam. I do like to let that dry just a little bit before I remove it from the fun foam. So I'm using the ultra sticky tape to add the panel to the front of a side fold A2 card and I like to use a liquid glue to adhere the fun foam to my card front. I know that's going to take a little bit longer to hold but it's not going to go anywhere. And I have a sentiment here from the One Go Birthday Greetings set that I had already made. This actually stamps and die cuts all in one go <laughs> just like it says so that way you have lots of sentiments for birthdays ready to go I'm going to work on my second design now and this is the masculine one and I thought it'd be great to create a background and then just have a basic sentiment popping out on top and this Shattered Cubes Builder Stencil Set is such a fun set. Basically, it comes with two stencils. And if you rotate each stencil four times, you end up this, with this really amazing pattern. And you can do this in whatever colors you want. And you can personalize it to a color um, that someone just loves and putting that together. Or make it bold, make it neutrals, whatever takes your fancy on the day. I love being able to do this. I found though that my mini blending tool, I got better coverage in some of these smaller sections than using the bigger blending tool. Although I didn't mind the way the large blending tool looks, I just wanted um, a bolder design here today. 
So all the colors that I'm using and all the products that I'm using in today's video will be linked in the description below, but also at the blog post, which will be linked there as well. And it's easy enough just to turn the stencil and work out where the pattern meets. It was really easy to do. There are so many different ways that you can personalize or make a birthday card that little bit more special for someone. If you don't know their age and you don't want to make it up, why not use 29? Because that's my age. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing you could do is actually add someone's name instead of adding the numbers. If you're not wanting to do that, then simply add their name to the front instead of doing what I've done here with the numbers. There is such, we have such great options here with all our products and I love the fact that I could create my own bespoke background for this masculine card. I hope that you've enjoyed these color combinations that I've use today. If you're not really sure what colors to mix up for yourself, have a look at what colors you have in your stash. Perhaps um, have a look at what other colors have been used with this stencil at the Alter New blog. If you go to the actual product for the Shattered Cubes stencil set, you'll see what the other designers have made using this set. Even on the back of the packaging, there's some color inspiration there. So it's not scary. You can do it. I promise. Because I already had some bold color in there, I knew that I needed to add some other bold colors. And I did decide to actually add a couple of greens, a light one, and then a nice bold one with the moss ink. How beautiful is that? And now for the big reveal. I just love that about stencils and masking. They're the two big reveals. They make me happy. All right, so it's time for the sentiment now and I decided to use one of the bold sentiments here. So using my obsidian black ink to stamp it out and I haven't stamped this particular one before so I did have to do it a couple of times. Told you, love the misty. And I did cut this down with my trimmer but you could easily use scissors and cut it down with or without the border. I like to do it without the border so that means I do need to come in and add some black marker to the edge so that it doesn't have that just cut look. The number that I'm adding to this card is 30 and I layered up a few die cuts. I think it was three white ones in total and then a black jet black die cut for the top and then I did actually add some foam beneath that as well and beneath my other sentiment and just added it to the center of the card. I hope you've had fun today and you've enjoyed this technique and let me know in the comments below if you've ever personalized a card with someone's birthday age or do you typically add their name? And also, which card is your favorite today? If you did enjoy today's card, then don't forget to click on the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss my next video, which will be coming up real soon. Until next time, I have a couple more videos here for you to watch and I look forward to seeing you there. Happy paper crafting. Bye.